Well, I'm going to wager a guess. This is another fake emergency. How you doing? Oh, hey. Speaking of which, hello. Thank you for not running me over. Oh, fuckers. Hello, detective. I don't give a fuck. Fuck him. What's that? Yeah, it looks like they're pulling concrete columns out of the fucking infrastructure. So I can really see at this point. I can't leave my last cigarette lying there. Hopefully nobody runs me over. Like I said, being run over once in a lifetime is enough for me, if you ask me. Yep, and again, again, as you can see, with the mass dirt piles, they're obstructing the view. Fuck it. Hey, bud. Well, there's no barrier. The barrier's open. There's no barrier here. up okay, you go. now we move to the emergency that just passed by my first instinct would be it'd be a fake emergency just to fucking distract me <coughs> and get me to walk several blocks because I do this type of shit and hmm get a real-time shot shit I can't see shit from here but we'll get there eventually I mean we'll figure out what the fuck's going on here if you just stick with me we're gonna have to excuse the fucking shaky film I don't have what you would call a production crew at this point hopefully that's coming um, surely it will if I'm still alive like I was saying earlier I mean Certainly, I'm giving them plenty of reasons to want to kill me, but here's the thing. When I'm being voyeur cast across this globe in the universe, I don't think there'd be any question as to who did it or what happened to me. And certainly, thankfully, I don't even know who a lot of them are. There are people that have my best interests at heart, and there are going to be people wondering what the fuck happened. So... I'm not worried about that shit.
Yeah, I can't really see what's going on down here that would be much of an emergency other than fucking my belt going loose. Ah, fuck. Well, you're going to have to give me a second. My belt came loose. You're going to see black for a second. Certainly. Yeah, I got this voodoo type belt. It does whatever the fuck it wants. It's way too complicated. I gotta go to Urban Casual and buy some new swag, including a belt. If you need some cool fucking swag, go to Urban Casual on Gordon Drive in Sioux City, Iowa. Their prices are good and they got really cool shit. That's where I do all my uh, shopping for my clothing, which doesn't last very long because of obvious reasons. Well, there looks like no reason for this. Obviously, they have it coned off. I don't know why. And certainly, if there is some sort of emergency, they even staged it to distract from something else. It might be something uh, you might know is called the false flag, something to distract from other mayhem. It happens quite regularly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is quite interesting. Yeah. Woo. Thank God my legs are getting a little tired, gentlemen. God, I wish I had a joint instead of a cigarette. It would calm my mind and ease up the whole environment, believe it or not. Certainly if I did have a joint, I'd spark it up right fucking here. Yeah, it's just lollygagging. It's what we call a false flag. They're just distracting from other shit. There was no emergency. The CIA calls it fun and games, I suppose. On this level, the police and emergency vehicles that often blare their sirens all through town to corral the people. Hello. Can I ask what the nature of the emergency is? Yeah, he's not going to answer. He doesn't know how to answer that. Oh, and there goes the train. Another way to block pedestrian traffic. They use that constantly. If they want to stop people. Hello, officer. I'm not bad. No, I'm just resting, smoking a cigarette. Do you know who I am? Oh, I'm Greg Redden. They all know that I, I occasionally, when I see emergencies i'll i'll film them i'm doing no, i know you're fine I okay just, i saw you over here i just didn't see if you needed anything no i don't I, what's what's the emergency uh it sounds like a medical issue so they're helping them out right now and oh. just gonna call and very well then yep so all right i just checked to see if you okay. anything you're good Let's i'm go good ahead. all right thank you And the trains, like, if they want to block anybody, but specifically a large amount of people from crossing from one part of the city to the other, they'll use them. They'll stop them for long periods of times. <coughs> they'll use their train whistles to distract people, myself included. Believe it or not, they have what's called, if you don't know, I do... Uh, satellite to brain interface where they can read my spoken thoughts and when I start to think or do something productive you'll start hearing 
uh, the, in the middle of the night as I'm off and outside, you'll hear the train sirens go off. You'll hear emergency vehicles start blaring in the area. Um, these aren't theories. These are conspiracies. And uh, if you want some factual documentation, if you don't trust me, uh, read some of Jesse Ventura's plethora of non-fiction books. Uh, uh, also, if you want to see uh, real documentation of the, the depths and the degree of which they go to to fuck with targeted individuals like myself, go to theinvisiblecrime.com. Michael Fitzabell, he's a friend of mine. He's an author. Um, I consider him a friend. I'm... I couldn't see why not. He's written uh, two uh, autobiographical accounts and documentation of various things. Uh, you know, just things you wouldn't you wouldn't believe. Most people wouldn't believe are true because you're not led to believe that. You're indoctrinated from you not to believe these things are capable. Things like implants. Uh, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, he, in one of his books, he's got a thicket, a thicket part of the book. It's a big thicket of factual documentation of U.S. government patents on things like see-through wall technology, brain to fucking whatever interface, brain manipulation. He's got a thicket of his second autobiographical book, which I've read, that just documents factually firsthand U.S. government patents on all sorts of shit most people wouldn't believe was possible. <laughs> I've experienced a lot of it, so I and I've I've researched it not through the news media certainly, uh, the mass news media in this country, but through different means. I'm not going to go into right now. But he's also got a third book on its way, which I have not yet read. But uh, oh, and here we go. Believe it or not. I'll occasionally get well. That's a Mercy helicopter. Now there are there are um, Mercy hospital helicopters. However, when you're in my area, you're going to see a lot of drone and helicopter and emergency vehicle traffic. Now, you can't see it from your view, but I just grabbed my crotch and flicked him off. If they're going to put a live uh, live camera and microphone that's broadcast all over on me, I'm going to give them something to look at, you fucking pukes. Yes, we do have many helicopters in the city other than emergency helicopters. We do have drones. They're hard to see during the day because they're white against the white sky. But if you're out at night like I am, a lot of people don't go out at night. But if you're looking up in the sky, they're obvious to see all over the city. A lot of times circling my general radius of my air, their space surrounding me. But all over the city, they have multiple. I have a YouTube video of them making like three passes, three different drones in several minutes of... Uh, and still, it seems like, you know, if this was an emergency situation, like that officer said, and somebody was needing emergency help, I sure as hell feel sorry for that victim because, uh, yeah, he's not getting anywhere very quick other than to the more. Yeah, it was a, it was a set up situation. And, uh, yeah, thankfully it's been dispersed. Now, now you see, we got trains. We got we got everything here. I actually find this very uh, productive filmmaking because we're getting the the whole scope, the smorgasbord of their fucking tactics. We got helicopters. We got trains. We got emergency vehicles. We got roads dug up all across town with blockades to obstruct pedestrian viewership of their mayhem. And I hope somewhere along the way, I, I hope, 
because I don't go around just shoving this in people's faces, but I do post this on my social media, my various social media accounts, which, by the way, my Facebook is pretty hot, goddamn highly trafficked. I've been posting analytics on my Facebook, you know, so I do have people, thankfully, and I'm grateful that uh, do have my best interests at heart. Hopefully they can take some of the information that I put out there and I don't just throw shit out there that I, I'm not factually uh, certain that is the case, like stuff like this. Um, I, hopefully somebody can take this information and avoid, use it to avoid uh, some of the fucking shit I've been through over the years and not have to go through that or to avoid it or to take what I've done in certain circumstances and use it to benefit their own circumstances in their own life to benefit themselves. You know, I'm not just doing this for me. Haven't been for the 14 years it's been going on. Certainly when it first started, you know, I was diverting myself from real life and death, uh, yeah, they were trying to kill us in Denver. I mean, real life. I'm not going into the depths of that long haul, but uh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, and now we on a main, Pierce Street is one of the main streets going through downtown to the interstate. Just past the Orpheum, go figure. They were down earlier. And now we have, as often as the case, a train blocking all this traffic. And it's, uh, let's see what time it is. About rush hour traffic here in Sioux City, Iowa, and it stopped. And they do this quite regularly in this intersection especially, but all over town. <laughs> this is a regular thing. There's no reason for this. And you can see the head of the train is right par parallel or perpendicular, right up blocking the traffic. They're rubbing it right in our fucking faces. And uh, I think this will make for some pretty good information for uh, hopefully somebody to take something from because hopefully this shit stops. We as a civilian society shut this shit down. We come together as a global civilian society. We come together, look out for everybody, each other, not just ourselves. Because for so long I got, well, he's bitching about all this and that. Well, it's not just about me that I've been worried about. I've interjected myself into many situations years past before I was on social media regular in Denver, for example, when emergency personnel descended upon a situation, I would move straight toward it and without a video camera to start with because I knew when I heard people screaming for their lives that it wasn't an emergency uh, help they were getting. They were in dire need of somebody to keep them from dying at the hands of these emergency personnel. So, uh, yeah. Well, it looks like some progress has been made. The uh, fake emergencies moved along. The helicopter's gone. We've got the uh, we've got the train moving along. Now, if they could just put this fucking street back together with the quickness, which actually uh, had a small amount of levity to the situation. I used to say, or you've heard the saying, "Rome can be built in a day." Well, goddammit. it. These days it can be. I've seen parts of cities go up and down, major cities, I won't say which ones, up and down in less than a day. They could, they have the capabilities long ago to just fix that whole block before the comedian that has a sold out show at the Orpheum Theater tonight and all those small businesses along this uh, stretch of road that I've documented have no reason to be deconstructed by our city construction crews. It could be put back together. It certainly won't be. I, I'm guessing, but that's all I got for now.